Thus, hemp, cannabis sativa, the old standby cordage fiber, is staging a strong comeback. This is Kentucky hemp going into the dryer of a mill at Versailles. In the old days, breaking was done by hand, one of the hardest jobs known to man. Now the power breaker makes quick work of it. Spinning American hemp into rope yarn or twine in the old Kentucky River Mill at Frankfort, Kentucky. Another pioneer plant that has been making cordage for more than a century. Such plants will presently be turning out products spun from American-grown hemp. Twine of various kinds for tying, winding armatures, and upholsterers work. Rope for marine rigging and towing, for hay forks, derricks, and heavy-duty tackle. Light-duty fire hose. Thread for shoes for millions of American soldiers and parachute webbing for our paratroopers. As for the United States Navy, every battleship requires 34,000 feet of rope and other craft accordingly. So here in the Boston Navy Yard, where cables for frigates were made long ago, crews are now working night and day making cordage for the fleet. In the old days, rope yarn was spun by hand. Today, even the rope walk is mechanized. 160 fathoms to go. The rope yarn feeds through holes in an iron plate. This is manila hemp from the Navy's rapidly dwindling reserve. When that is gone, American hemp will go on duty again. Hemp for mooring ships. Hemp for tow lines. Hemp for tackle and gear. Hemp for countless naval uses, both on ship and shore. Just as in the days when old Ironside sailed the seas victorious with her hempen shrouds and hempen sails. Hemp for victory.